Thank you for coming in today. I have some important results to discuss regarding your recent tests. Unfortunately, I need to inform you that you have been diagnosed with coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease? What does that mean for me? This condition means that the arteries supplying blood to your heart are narrowed due to plaque buildup. It can lead to chest pain, heart attacks, and other serious complications if not addressed. I didn't realize it was that serious. What are my options? The treatment plan usually involves lifestyle changes, such as diet and exercise, and in some cases, medication. However, depending on the severity, we may also recommend a procedure known as angioplasty. In your case, based on the test results, the blockage in your arteries is quite significant, and lifestyle changes alone are unlikely to be sufficient. The angioplasty is necessary to open up the artery and restore proper blood flow to your heart. Given the degree of narrowing, I would strongly advise that we perform the procedure sooner rather than later to avoid any further complications. What exactly is angioplasty? Interpreter, could you explain angioplasty to the patient in your own words while I update some information here in the system? Okay, no problem. My apologies. I'll explain. Angioplasty is a minimally invasive procedure where we insert a small balloon into the blocked artery and inflate it to open it up. Sometimes, a stent is placed to keep the artery open. What exactly is angioplasty? Like any medical procedure, angioplasty carries some risks, including bleeding, infection, and the possibility that the artery could become blocked again. However, most patients find it significantly improves their symptoms. And how long will I be in the hospital? Typically, patients stay for about one to two days for observation. The recovery at home can take a week or two, depending on your overall health. What happens if I decide not to go through with the angioplasty? If you choose not to have the procedure, your symptoms may worsen over time and you could face more severe health issues, including heart attacks. Managing lifestyle factors becomes even more critical in that case. What happens if I decide not to go through with the angioplasty? It's understandable to feel overwhelmed, especially with such serious news. I want you to know that we are here to support you. It's important that you take the time you need to consider your options. However, this is a serious condition that we need to address. If you wait too long, the risks can increase significantly and irreversibly. Actually, wait 
Don't interpret that. I shouldn't have said it that way. I understand. I just have so many responsibilities. I can't just drop everything for a procedure. I completely understand. If it would help, I can refer you to a dietitian and a physical therapist who can assist you with lifestyle changes. They can provide you with resources that can help improve your heart health. That would be helpful. But I still need to think about the angioplasty. Can I take my time? Absolutely. It's your decision. Just remember we are here to provide guidance and support. Please keep in mind that the sooner we can address the blockage, the better your outcomes are likely to be. Thank you for explaining everything. I'll discuss this with my family and get back to you. You are welcome. I'll make sure you have all the information you need to make an informed decision. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions, either before or after discussing with your family. Thank you. I appreciate your help. We are with you every step of the way. Your health is our priority.